Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. Um, today I wanted to make a GitHub tutorial, extremely basic tutorial on how to do pulls, how to initialize, how to um, manage your GitHub, basically how to do your add, commit, your push, um, starting from scratch because um, I know there are a lot of questions regarding GitHub and, and sometimes the process is a little confusing. Um, because you're dealing with terminal and a remote repository um, and sometimes your files are out of sync so um, let's go ahead and uh, you know run through this uh, so basically right now I am in my home directory and what I want to do is let's say let's go to the desktop so from desktop I'm going to make a new directory called watts 2000 test app so in here Wants 2000 test test app. Okay, perfect. So now there's nothing in here, right? Um, what I want to do is I'm gonna touch a file and call it like my new file. Uh, so now there is this new file here called my new file. Um, so in here I'm going to write some stuff. Hello. Welcome to what's 2000, oops, 20,000. <laughs> okay, cool. So you don't really need to worry about that. I was just creating a file and, you know, filling it in with some content. Um, so now I have this new file <clears throat> called my new file. And uh, let's go to GitHub to create a new repository. Let's call it what's 2000 test. And uh, sure, let's initialize it with a readme. Because uh, that's good coding practice. Um, so from here, you know, you see my remote repository has a readme, but my local repository has a new file called my new file. So clearly, these two are out of sync. Um, and what I'm going to want to do to, uh, you know, teach GitHub what changes I have been making and how to do pushes correctly. I'm going to need a pull first. So I need to tell I need to go grab the files from the whatever's on the remote repository, sync it locally, and then from there I can push. And that way GitHub will know what files haven't changed and what files have and to only submit the or only commit the files that have changed. So uh, what I want to do first is do a git uh, uh, sorry, git init to establish a connection between my local repository and my remote repository. And git init just says, okay, cool, like let's, let's make a git, let's start something with git. And now I want to say git remote add origin and then grab this URL here. That will establish the connection between my local repository and where my remote repository is. Um, so once that happens, I could do a git pull and I'll, I generally want to do a git pull first because I want to, you know, I want to uh, merge the changes from my remote repository uh, and my local repository. I want to do all those changes locally. I want to, you know, put them all together, compile all together locally. So let's go ahead and do that. And now you can see that I should have a readme in there too and a .git folder. The .git folder is just this hidden folder that stores all of your Git related information. Um, for instance, like earlier where we designated the uh, remote repository location, uh, what changes have been made this time around, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so if I do a git status now, see this says my new files in red. It means these are untracked. I will need to do an add first and then stage it. So let's go do that, git add that. So now, uh, now it should be green. Cool. So these are changes that need to be committed. Um, so now I need to say git uh, commit dash m uh, first commit. Um, so now these should be stage ready to be pushed onto the server. So in order to do that, I need to say git push origin master designate the branch and my new log on. Yeah. So Here we go. So now it just pushed all my changes to the remote repository. And now if I refresh this page, it has my new file. So now what you see here is both my 
remote repository here and my local uh, directory are synced and the files are the same. And whenever I want to make a change, I definitely always want to make the change like locally, whether it's in the terminal or it's in Atom or Sublime or whatever text editor you have. So when you change code, you're doing it all locally. And then finally, when you're done, you go through the process of add, um, commit, and then attach a message, and then push. So that will um, get you up and running um, for a GitHub, a new GitHub repository, just to you know clear the air on how to sync things properly, how to set up Git so that uh, you're good to go for the rest of um, your app development. Um, so thanks for listening, and I hope this helped. Thanks.